Hello, everybody uh, coming in. We um, uh, anyway, welcome everybody. Uh, uh, we, I'm sure a few more people will uh, come in, but I think we will uh, get going. I want to kick off though by um, introducing Jai Won Cho, who is a um, uh, a colleague of mine. We've worked together now for uh, quite a number of years. It seems like um, I have been. Uh, uh, working with uh, Jai Won on uh, a number of uh, book projects and uh, on uh, translating some of his uh, inspired thinking into uh, English from Korean. So um, Jai Won, we're going to have a chat rather than have a talk. So I'd like to, first of all, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about you first of all. Okay, thank you, Richard. Now, my name is Jae Won Cho from uh, Republic of Korea. So you may say uh, uh, quite often uh, South Korea, but uh, we are one Korea. <laughs> so uh, then I'm doing the project with uh, Richard uh, titled The Science Warden since 2015. So I'm also uh, uh, the faculty member of a university uh, titled the UNIST, city of Ulsan in uh, South Korea. So I'm very happy uh, to be here to talk with you about my project and many other things. Um, I uh, Tell me a little bit about before Science Walden, tell us a little bit about uh, what, you, uh, what you did. Okay, so I'm an environmental engineer. So I've been working in that area uh, since uh, 1999, so almost uh, 25 years. So uh, the back in uh, 2015, so I, I burned out, I believe. So uh, I published more than 100, 100 papers, but I feel I got lost, I would like to to start all over again. So I, I, demand, I request, ask for what help from artists. So that's why I propose the science world. And, and since then, I've been working with artists to do and to solve fundamental problem, including climate change and the gap between generation and so on. So tell, tell us a little bit about um, Science World. And it, it is a project but it's also a building yes so uh science warden is uh is an idea as a unity of science and arts the, with the movement towards uh, the new order out of a chaos in i believe uh anthropogenic and digital area so we have a lot of problems so i would like to solve it instead of uh, including uh, publishing paper in a scientific uh, way, but also different ways. So that's why I invited artists into uh, pavilion, the, the title, the science cabin. So uh, the, then also uh, we propose a couple of platform to induce, uh, to, to invite you, all of you to the uh, uh, the virtual world with a different language and sign in economic and the scientific and education and artist way as well. So um, Science Walden was also, as well as being an idea, there was a big engineering project that was uh, part of it. Um, and I think that to uh, it would be interesting to hear a little bit more about that, but in uh, in particular, I think the uh, the currency that goes along with that is quite important to your uh, to your whole vision. Okay, so uh, the couple of reasons I propose a new currency, so uh, everyone crazy about the new currency uh, of uh, Bitcoin and other currency digital uh, currency. So I would like to uh, suggest ourselves in different way. So, uh, so, so connected to ecologic, 
ecologic uh, the movement with the toilet. So we try to convert our physics into energy. So we have a certain value uh, out of one person's poo in an average day. So then we put uh, the certain amount of value with the unit of a gul, so for example, 10 gul, and then we use this value to exchange other value service and goods. So what we ask persons to value their goods and the services in good so that we can change our value in different way. So we design those currency with a negative interest of 7% a day, which means we don't have any, uh, any the money left after a month. So uh, the combining these uh, the split into uh, the currency, we uh, would like to invent real money instead of uh, instead of uh, vertical money, the based on capitalism. So I think the, for for I think one of the fundamental uh, things that is new about the your idea of a currency is this idea of a negative interest rate so that the money unless you share the money with other people or unless you uh, use it to use uh, use other people's services or goods the money goes away and that seems to be the very opposite of the capitalist idea that you get yourself as much money as possible and you hoard it and it grows in value so this is the opposite okay thank you so uh... I'd like to give a life and death concept into uh, the currency and the money so that we use money in natural way instead of a, instead of a capital way. Yeah. So that's the, my, my purpose, intention <laughs> yeah. for the universal value. So you involved artists right from the beginning with Science yes. Walden. So you wanted scientists and engineers and artists to be working together. Can you uh, just tell us a little bit more about why and how, how that has worked? So as I mentioned, so I, I, I feel I got lost. So uh, I needed some help from other person. So uh, there is a special, no, there is no special reason to invite the artist, but I just invited the artist. So into the place, place of a pavilion we can talk. And after that, I realized uh, uh, scientists are very familiar with uh, the world with the language and sign. Artists, I believe they're very good at and familiar with the world without the language and sign. They, they have a very good uh, sense of uh, the feeling, a lot of uh, material in the world. So uh, I think we can combine to solve a fundamental problem using both way with and without the language and science. So that's the why. So I, I've been working with the artist, centering around the center of science, uh, the cabin, which is a pavilion and the living lab as well inside the campus. So inside in it, so we, are, we have a engineering lab and living lab. So contact with each other. So we live and donate our uh, the poo and pee to be converted into energy and the fertilizer. So around the science cabin, we cultivate agriculture to, to provide the food and the, to make energy, of, of course. And uh, do, do the, artists, the artists live in the cabin as well? And uh, do they help with the growing things? Yes, yeah, sure. So, uh, so we have a we have other uh, building, of course. So uh, the artists uh, live there and uh, study there. And a couple of times we visit the science cabin. Uh, some volunteer artists live there for a period of, period of time and for a week and for a month and to make a work and to exhibit there to the uh, students of a unit. And after that, we, we discuss a lot of things uh, combined and uh, whenever they 
polite uh, science cabin, so they visit our engineering lab and science, science lab to be uh, familiar with our work in scientific way. And then they try to combine, instead of uh, make uh, certain works uh, in artistic way, what the scientists make, instead of those one that they, they actually make whatever that is as a unity without any boundary between science and art. So, so you think the, the, the kind of work that the artists were making uh, is changed by being uh, at Science World and or working with the scientists and the engineers? Yes, of, of course they tread with, but they are part of uh, the project as well. So uh, that they, they paid or their visit for a certain period of time, so contribute the volunteer without any payment, but so uh, in very variety of contribution from the artistic uh, parts. So you uh, have some um, very, I think your think your thinking is is very um, universal. It's a thinking that is about making the world a better place rather than uh, simply you know having a having a particular um, uh, object or working with artists in general. You have um, you you believe that the. the in the world being a better place and changing it for the better. How did you persuade your government to uh, invest money into this? Because it seems quite radical. Yeah, so, uh, so almost uh, more than 100 teams are proposed, but we are accepted. I'm not sure why we succeeded, but we propose uh, ecological way, I believe. So uh, some propose artificial intelligence, some uh, propose a robot, some pr propose digest management, but we propose uh, ecological and economic way to, to shake our world in a different way using sign or without, as well as without sign. So uh, I think artistic uh, contribution so it's very, uh, I think, uh, the key way to convince uh, evaluator. So artists never, never uh, merge into science, science area. So that's the, I hope. So I believe uh, they are convinced by our proposal. So artists played quite a, you think artists played quite an important role then in, sure. in that, yeah. Whenever they visit, they uh, they ask us where is art, where is science. <laughs> so, but so they never actually distinguish from each other. So that's the that's the our hope, and so that's the index of our being successful to convince people. And you also uh, have started a, uh, a a master's course in the convergence of art and science. Yes, we are, we are operating master and PhD at the course as well. So we have uh, already uh, the four, four graduate. So one of those, uh, the students already become, uh, became a faculty in a different university as well. So I hope we can continue. So how, uh, what, what is it that you are, when you talk about the convergence of art and science, um, who is who? Who are the students who are coming to that course? What are they? What so, are they hoping to uh, to get from it? Yeah, we have a we have a students from Ghana in African, in Africa and Romania and yeah, so Vietnam and of course Korean. So uh, so, so they they from a chemical engineer, so communication, in many different area, including. Uh, Business school, of course, but yeah, one one artistic design department as well. And uh, how is the um, the climate change debate in Korea? Is it would you say it was a an advanced debate, or is it something that's still just beginning to uh, emerge? 
Yeah, of course, the government then actually stress a lot of uh, contribution to reduce uh, carbon emissions by emphasizing decarbonization, but they always uh, being interested in a carbon tax to be collected mm -hmm. to contribute to a different way. But, but we science, science world and has a different idea to introduce a new sign, new language to communicate and spontaneously to contribute to mitigation of uh, the climate crisis and disaster. So that's why we propose instead of uh, protesting against the government and the industrial sector, but introducing new sign. So to be connected to alternative democratic way to contribute to climate. So this climate. is a, this is a, uh, uh, not a, uh, an activist thing, but something that is again, trying to work through people to change sure, yeah. society, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course we support activists, but we, we use a different way. Of course, yes, 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 yes. yes. Thank you, uh, Jaiwan. I, um, I hope you'll stay with us and uh, come into the conversation afterwards. Um, uh, just to say to everyone, because I didn't say at the beginning that if you do have a question or anything that you don't quite understand or having trouble with, just do put it in the chat and we'll come back to you uh, later on. But what I want to do now uh, is go to the um, video from uh, Casey Wong. So I'm going to, uh, first of all, I'll introduce where Casey is based. So Casey Wong is based in Hong Kong um, at something called uh, the Jockey Club Museum of Climate Change, uh, which he will talk about and uh, Silva Lazzelli, who's also with us, we'll talk about a little bit about that as well. Uh, I have now put the link in the chat again. So if you do have any trouble with the, uh, the video, um, see if you can uh, switch into, uh, you might need to mute your, I don't know how it'll work, but you can try it. You can switch, try it, try it on the, the Vimeo if it's not working well. So I'll give this, uh, uh, I... I go. Yeah. Hi. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too, Richard. And um, uh, so uh, you, I, uh, do you go, call yourself Casey? Yes, just my okay. initial. Okay. Okay, and that's yeah. the name you use. Uh, tell me what, what 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 am I looking at behind you? My, my artwork that is oh, yeah? make me more easy to, to explain to you, yeah. Okay, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, Let, let's start with my artwork, okay? Yeah, good, let's start with that, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, I know very little about your, your work, so, so um, yes, tell me, tell me more. Can't hear it, Richard. Sure. You, can you guess what was, have sound. what was the material that I, I, I used for, for the work? No, okay. Sorry. Can you tell? Uh, um, um, sorry, I'm going to stop it there. It looks like <laughs> uh, actually I can see some uh, small bulldog clips, uh, and I can see uh, various uh, other bits of recycled just saying, uh, no sound, electronics or well? materials yeah, of some right. kind. But I don't uh, see exactly. Can I suggest <laughs> then that I actually I, I use on the, I uh, use the link the in the chat, Zeus. which will bring up the video to create a portrait and I will do okay. the same and then as soon as okay it then playing, there's four uh, suits will, behind me uh, and um okay. some people call it uh, a mask yeah or a, a face then and you're right and I use different kind of um recycled material to decorate the the hair eyes nose yeah. mouth yeah. etc yeah then um the reason behind I do this is I I want to I want to uh, uh, explore uh, our social status. Okay. Yeah, because people wearing uh, different masks in in, in um, the world, and so try to pretend some somebody something like that. That's, that's the, the, the concept. You could possibly, but I, I want to um, tell you more about the, the link. The, could you? I don't the, know if you shared uh, it. Reason I, 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 the, um, why I use those uh, I use the material. Can't see it in my chat. Sorry. Yeah, because um, I I I collect a lot of sneakers before, and um, 
I love it. And I, I actually, I can't wear all the shoes all the time. Right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> then, then I, one day, uh, such idea pop up in my mind and I, I find this really interesting. And the first uh, sneaker, first um, uh, portrait that I, I create, I, it really surprised me because I, 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 when I look, look at the, the work and it's really alive. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the process um, is, is really interesting um, to me because um, I try to mix and match with different user materials um, to create their features. And um, so I, I enjoy it a lot. And, and one, one point I want to mention is um, we, we, we name it upcycling, right? Yeah. Um, which is I, I learned from, from my, my job, uh, Museum of Climate Change. Yeah. Upcycling. Um, and I, I try to make use of this, this, um, this action to, to create my, to inject into my artwork. So, um, yeah, I, I, I started this series of work um, since two years ago. And then now I, I create around um, 13 pieces. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's the that's that's my 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 personal um, artwork. And um, in 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 Hong Kong, uh, how much attention is being paid to to recycling to upcycling to because the, the you know the island is very very dense very dense population. There must be a huge issue around waste and uh, disposal. Uh, I would say it's not really uh, mature. Yeah. Uh, the the system. Um, uh, because a uh, lot of ways. Um, all the time and and those those material I I used it, uh, at my work I, I collected. Um, I by myself. Yeah. Not not around any organization. I I for example I use it to keep all the um, bottle cap. Yeah. Different colors, different different um size. Then um, in Hong Kong, um, we we have some system, but I, I think um, the if that is not, I, I mean, it's not really efficient. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, and uh, when you do you good do you go <clears throat> and find materials as well, or, or just use stuff that comes into your daily life? Both, both, both. Okay. I I I will. I got another eye to spot those um, trash <laughs> and and see how it turns into my my um, in creations. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. sometimes I, I just uh, spot different things and and think about what if what if we use it as some some my uh the hairs, eyes, even glasses, something like that. Then then keep thinking. Yeah. 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 Um, so tell me about the, the museum and what your role is there and, uh, and a bit more about it, because we, we, uh, I, I think it's quite significant as, as one of the perhaps the first museum of climate change. Yeah, because uh, I, I got um, a design background. I study in graphic design, advertising design. Then um, I worked for um, design uh, in retail for, for many years. Then um, I joined uh, Museum of Climate Change uh, around five years ago. And then um, the role, my role is um, creative service manager, which is um, to handle those, um, uh, the experts in the museum um, like some uh, visual update or some uh, event in, in, inside or outside the museum yeah. because they, they're going to promote um, climate change um, or educate education stuff to, to the public. Then um, Museum of Climate Change, MOCC, I, I call it MOCC, um, used it to, to um, have different role show different exhibition yeah. um, like like in the in the shopping mall in different um, school to to educate um, people yeah 
So, uh, um, yeah. Yeah. So what? I, what I, yeah. Yeah. No. Sorry to interrupt. Um, so, what kind of role do our artists playing uh, generally in in the museum? Sorry. What kind of role are, are, are you know what? How many artists are involved in the working in the museum? Uh, uh, it's not in, for in house. Um, only me to handle yeah, yeah. those yeah. Uh, creative and design. But we work with different artists like photographer because we we use it to uh, work with them to, for example, we 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 got a project name um, theme exhibition. Then we will feature different um, artists, photographer usually, also some artists who create um, s- similar to my 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 artwork. Uh, those furniture or, or fixtures um, we used, we try to approach different o- organization, which is um, they make use of wood, um, collect uh, from typhoon after typhoon, then they make use of those wood and to create the fixtures. Then we will apply it in our museum or um, our exhibition. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Hong Kong's obviously uh, been through some very uh, challenging times lately. Um, uh, have artists been involved in that at all? Uh, not, not really, because okay. um, uh, yeah, because artists uh, focus at the work yeah. um, all the time, and whatever outside um, things happen, then they, they they work in in their own way or in different way to express themselves. I, I would say, yeah, yeah. And and have you shown your work? Is there a kind of a gallery culture in? in Hong Kong? I know there are a lot of uh, uh, kind of interesting artists working there. Uh, yes, uh, but not just gallery because um, different kind of like like art expo or um, another exhibition. I, I try to um, um, show to other, to other audience um, in different platform, even online. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and in Korea, I know there's a big uh, 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 movement around nature art. Is there anything similar to that in Hong Kong? It's a very urbanized environment, but uh, I'm just curious to know if there are artists working in that kind of area, kind of working within the natural environment. I, I, I think um, many organizations or many artists are working on different things. But um, to me, they did not create the trend yet. Okay. Because um, yeah, just um, just like me, I, I I work on my works and and I try to approach um organization or a gallery to 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 get the exposure, but um, not very um popular. Yeah, there's there's. The artist is, is all, 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 all time like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's and quite the... difficult. Um, the same of climate change, like like what I mentioned about the theme exhibition, because they they work with different uh, organizations, like what I mentioned, uh photographer. We 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 um uh, exhibit those um their works uh for for at least three months. Then we <laughs> also um, provide different kind of uh, promotion like social media, like um, uh, online magazines, something like that. So I I think the the whole whole campaign is more um, useful um, to to um, MOCC or to the artists. Yeah, I I I, I want to um, uh, tell you more about. Uh, my role in MOCC, okay, because um, like uh, how we we deal with deal with the the environment, um, like uh, use of materials, then in we we have to because we 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 um kind of demonstrating the 
the um, I mean, I mean the role um, is like uh, leading. Uh, we we are not um, going to produce any any ways. Then uh, we have to um, do it very carefully, like uh, which material that we pick. Um, like I I I I, I like concrete cardboard as the as the the key ma uh, materials for for exhibition. At least it 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 could be recycled. Then um, yeah, some something like that. We 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 need to think further for for those things because we we don't want to be being challenged or or something something negative. So sure. yeah, then yeah, yeah. Because I think a lot of uh, museums who are kind of working in this area sometimes forget about the actual, you know, the 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 the, the, <laughs> the exhibition itself and what what the cost right. of the, the environmental cost of the materials and, and all of that. Right, right. right. Um, I, I think but, we we all all be getting the balance in terms of um the the good looking and and the uh, and the carbon emission behind. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah, something something that we, we have to already remind ourselves. Sure. Yeah. Great. It's been really interesting to hear about your work. Uh, Great. Thank and, you. Uh, to hear a, bit, a little, little bit about the museum. So we'll put the link up uh, on the, uh, the museum site. Do you have a, a link to your work uh, specifically? Yeah, I, I, I can share more with, with you after work. Yeah, like okay. those uh, image or those what 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 are the such as the exhibition I mentioned? Great. Yeah, if you I, would, I, if you can do that, uh, I will uh, put that up on the the website so people can have a look in at your work in in more detail. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Casey. Very good to speak to you. And thank yeah, you. Me too. For, thanks for coming. Thank you. On today. It's been really good. Thank and, you, Richard. Um, thank you. Uh, we'll uh, stay in touch. Sure. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I think most people managed to hear that. Uh, Martin obviously didn't, I'm afraid, but uh, I think think I, most people did. Uh, I've just put the link up uh, in the chat to the Museum of Climate Change, but I want to um, move over to Selva, who I think can uh, uh, has done uh, some work with them, and uh, I hope can tell us a little bit more about. You, Ms. Elva, you're based. You are based in New York, usually. Although at the moment you're in Turkey, uh, you've obviously got a lot of international links. So, so, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, before we before we talk about your work? Can you tell us a bit more about your various links with the Climate Change Museum uh, and and also your your other kind of international links with that you do with your work? Sure. First of all, uh, hello everyone. I'm Selva Zeli. I'm a lawyer, an author, and an artist. Uh, as my work with the uh, uh, climate change began as a, as a lawyer. I had a first of its kind legal analysis that extended the application of US laws through tax treaties to the rest of the world, which uh, allowed for um, environment-related corporate governance violations to be litigated in U.S. courts. So I've always been uh, concerned about the environment as a lawyer. As an author, I um, wrote a series about impact of uh, carbon, the impact of carbon um, tax regime in the highest um, six carbon emitting countries. And there was always this tendency where uh, carbon, in the, um, carbon energy got a lot of subsidy from the government. So I, I wrote a series of articles concerning that and also um, concerning investment into solar energy. And then as an artist, uh, basically my writings um, and, and, and COVID um, 
led me to painting in this area as well. Um, so as an artist, I had first curated and participated in a group art show. It, it was called Atelier Tamer Rizia. That's our, um, our teacher's name. Uh, first digital climate change art show. We, of course, didn't plan it as a digital art show, but because of the pandemic, we had to. We were forced to do so. And um, the first climate change museum of the world, MOCC, published our art show, and that's kind of how we met the museum and I. They, they basically supported our first group art show. And then I made a solo art show at the same time I had submitted uh, my COVID-related re paintings to a UN COVID art contest, all 16 of them won. And that kick-started my uh, solo uh, Art in the Time of Corona uh, series of art shows. And... Um, and the museum has supported and published every single one of my art shows and, uh, and as well as my articles. It's, it's just been a, a very lovely collaboration. I'm extremely honored. Yeah, fantastic. Um, it sounds like uh, uh, um, lockdown and coronavirus has been very good for you in terms of a, a creative well, flourishing. Yes, well, I, I kept busy that way, I hope. I hope we all get out of this with uh, a, a greater respect for our environment, with a bit better understanding and, and healthy uh, going forward. Yeah. So uh, the, you mentioned the Museum of Climate Change. Did they, did they close? Were they closed? Were they doing their, all of their exhibitions virtually? Uh, so my... Collaboration with them actually began when they started publishing my article series. And then, so I, that's how it began and that was before the pandemic. And then the art layer came on later on and, and uh, so, so that's, that's how we've moved along. They, they were shut down, uh, but they still published anything that I sent them. Great. They were shut down for the public, but they had a digital, sure. digital, digital presence. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So you, you know, you're very familiar with at least three cultures living in New York, um, having a family in t t Turkey and um, um, knowing what's going on a little bit in, in Asia and Hong Kong. Uh, how would you characterize the difference between uh, art and its relationship with climate change in those three different cultures? That's a very big question, I know. Yeah, well, well in, uh, in the United States, uh, only recently have they signed back on to the Paris Agreement. Uh, but for the past five, you know, five years ago, the Trump administration get out of the Paris Agreement. It was almost impossible to write the kind of articles that I wrote, but I did. <laughs> and I, I had support. Um, I, I published it with Bloomberg as well as Cointelegraph and, and, and like 200 other publications republished it around the world and translated it into 34 languages. So in the United States, obviously, they, they've been all, always um, a, a great painters that, that have portrayed nature beautifully. Helen Frankenthaler, she was, her foundation was part of the uh, New York uh, Climate Week. Uh, it's one of the prominent ones, obviously. Um, in, in Turkey, um, I, I, I guess they are going to ratify. The, the president here said they will ratify the Paris Agreement uh, in October, and let's hope that they do so. So that's a another area where, let's say, climate change. I, I may I may be a, 
a lone voice in that regard uh, here, but I do have artist friends who um, paint on the subject matter. We all came together. We had different expertises. One, one painter, Fatma Kadir, she, she painted birds. Mm -hmm. uh, another, Ilhan Sayin, he, he paints uh, flowers as well as cacti. And another one, uh, Semina Hazar, she paints um, about, about the sea. So the, we, we came together, we had great synergy and we've been participating in art shows and in UN events. And in regards to, so, so Turkey kind of straddles Europe to, to Asia. And then um, in regards to um, the Museum of Climate Change, not only did they publish our art shows, but also they participated in a waste campaign that uh, Tired Earth, a, a magazine which is published in English and French, um, called Masquery. It was all about mask pollution stemming from the COVID pandemic. And they prepared a video as well as um, photos. They gave us photos. They uh, gave us an interview. So they were uh, very helpful in that regard. Uh, the four artists that I mentioned, we all launched masquerade campaign art shows at the London Climate um, Action Week. Um, and um, and they, they were our supporters. The museum was our supporters uh, in that event and, and others as well. I have put uh, the links to two of your current exhibitions up on the website page so people can Go and have a look at that but uh we we've got um about 10 minutes remaining so i just wanted to first of all uh throw out to uh our uh viewers here today uh ask if there are any questions or if anybody would like to come in and make a comment or uh or throw in a question no at the moment all right we'll uh, if anybody does please just just um put that in the chat and I would um well I, I had a question yeah go ahead uh, in, in regards to the um uh, currency um the digital currency that they have with the negative interest rate uh, is that is that like a uh, digital currency on blockchain technology or is it something else because if it is a digital currency I actually would like to write about that for Cointelegraph yeah it's actually not so we don't use the blockchain so blockchain is a very strong connection so, so if it wants uh, the forums we never we never erase it so instead of that, we use a different logic. So uh, once we have it, so uh, as far as uh, as far as uh, the transactions so we can do, but otherwise the money disappear. So uh, that's the oh, our okay. yeah, yeah, the fact that you have the disappearing part makes blockchain not very compatible. Is that what is that what you're saying? Because, um, because because yeah. with blockchain, yeah. you have to always track it, and it's not yeah. you cannot yeah. erase it. Okay, all right, I understand. Uh, I think if if I can come in on that, uh, the uh, I think the the fundamental idea behind the currency is a different one because it's coming from a non uh, an entirely non capitalist perspective. Uh, yeah, this is a currency of exchange. It's a, it's a a currency to that operates within goods and services and artwork and people and labor uh, and all of these other things. Uh, and money can be generated uh, from your own feces. So uh, you can, you can create, get a credit into your Google account uh, by uh, essentially donating your waste products to a system that will then turn it back into fertilizer and uh, back into goods so 
uh, it is a currency that is about exchange and certainly not about and, and values are very different rather than about um, uh, the, the, the blockchain model, which is essentially about tracking and generating uh, more currency yeah. that way. Yes, but blockchain is more like an accounting system. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, for person-to-person -person value exchange, it's an accounting system. I, I think here, this is also a value and barter system, but it, it has its own, I guess, values. I mean, you, you lose value based on time, you, you gain value. I mean, it's, it's a bit more complicated to account for maybe for blockchain. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but the Bitcoin based on blockchains are actually cacheable, but we do not cacheable uh, connections so to the present dollar and Korean and many different the currency. So uh, but that's the main difference between two. So we don't have a bank. That's the similar one, but we do not have any cacheable apparatus. <laughs> OK. Like but, but, but Jaiwan, the, you do, I, in your Google account, you do have uh, friends and contacts, and you have a network of people. And one of the principles is that uh, as uh, as money come as money comes in every day, you that a certain amount of that money is immediately given away to your friends yes. and to your network. Yeah. So we call that as uh, the peer in peers and the, in Latin. So that's the that's the same, the, like a family, not actually family, but as uh, the civil civil uh, society. We share our value between our peers. And whatever we got, the good, the good is uh, the unit of a currency, but we all 30% of our gain from our pool. So uh, it's going to be shared with our peer. That's the connection. So we, we have a news, so we have a, a lot of value sharing the, between our peers. So that's the basic design of our currency. Yeah. The, the the name of the currency uh, Google, which is uh, it means what is that? Uh, it, that means what in Korean? What? How would you translate that word? Gul is a honey in in Korean, so uh, it, like a bee, like yeah. a bee, honey bee, with a vision that to make our society better than ever. So that's the my. Well, yeah. Gul in Turkish means rose. Ah, okay. So, so my arch, yeah, my arches are recovery roses. So it's ileşme gülleri. Okay, that's ah. interesting because, of course, yeah. in English, in English, it's a it's a difficult word because it tends to mean um, uh, a ghoul is a is a, a, a not a very good ghost, an undead person. So oh. uh, it's not a good word, but. Uh, I know when you uh, worked with the community in India, in Oroville, they too came up with their own name for the currency. Yeah. The Indian has a very bad meaning with the cool. So that's, the, they, that's why they use a different name titled Ora. Ora is uh, the different name of their community. The community without the money, so uh, so yeah, they yeah. name it, but they are using different, uh, the same exactly the same principle as uh, as our currency system. Great. Uh, I, I uh, our time is just about up, so I would uh, very much like to thank you both for joining us today. I, I haven't. Uh, there's a couple of minutes if anybody would like to come in and ask something or. Make a comment? No. So uh, in that case, I'll just remind you of uh, what's coming up. So obviously, first Friday, uh, again, next month will be, I believe it's uh, November 5th. Let me have a look. Uh, it is November 5th. It's a resonant date in our uh, uh, English calendars here. Uh, and um, Obviously, our main event now coming up is Borrowed Time, 
which uh, we say we have the event on the 15th, and then we also have uh, the main event, which is starting on October 31st and goes through to November 2nd. So do have a look at the website and come and join us. If you want to come and join us uh, as a steward, particularly if you're locally based, um, there's uh, lots of very cheap ways into it. So do come and join us for that. I'm just going to quickly put the link into the chat there. Uh, uh, sorry, that should have said info, not inco. Um, and otherwise I will say goodbye and thank you very much for joining us. It's been very interesting to hear things going on in other parts of the world. Uh, and how artists are working with climate change in lots of different ways. Um, and uh, Joe, I want to know it's quite late for you there. Um, uh, and uh, we'll see you all um, next month. Okay. Thank you. Thank very you much. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.